Larry, this is, this is a hot topic about whether there should have been criminal prosecutions. Do you have a view on this, having been there? Look, uh, I share Ben Bernanke's outrage. There clearly were a lot of outrageous things uh, that happened. If there were people who could plausibly be found guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, they should have been prosecuted rather than their companies being prosecuted. Whether there were such people and prosecutors just didn't pursue the case, or whether in extremely complicated situations, you know that something has gone badly wrong, but you can't prove somebody guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, that's the question, and that's not something I feel able to evaluate uh, from uh, the outside. But yes, you look at what happened, you look at the degree of irresponsibility of individuals, and I think it's a pretty hard thing to uh, I defend. Mean, I think this is, this, you've, you've hit the quandary right on its head. When we're looking back at the crisis and what happened and what caused it, it's incredibly difficult to single out bank chief executives, very senior members of the board for the specific decisions which caused a Lehman, which caused the crisis as we saw it. The crazy thing is what we're seeing now, sort of five, six years later, is the manipulation that went on in those markets at the time. We've now found that so many different markets, from LIBOR to FX to we're looking at commodities silver. now, silver, exactly. Where, where there have been criminal prosecutions. Where there have been criminal prosecutions. But there is so much easier to pick out the single individuals at fault, at blame. They have the emails. But they hold have on. The Sadly, the people they keep going after are mid and junior line guys, where agree. these decisions are not made I by them. I completely agree. But have they found, in any cases, they found it very difficult to trace up the chain to a wider level. Now, if you look at some of the worst behavior, whether that's a BNP Paribas with sanctions, and that was systemic. If we look at what happened with some of the Swiss banks, UBS and Credit Suisse, and sort of systemically shielding U.S. clients from tax, uh, tax supervision, for lack of a better word, that, I think, is a very different situation. But I think it is very difficult, to your point, to go back to sort of this, the sort of issues that happened at the crisis at such a broad level across the system and say, Jamie Dimon, to say, you know, executives and there, at the and time. And there's another that level that, that Larry also points to, which is the practical level. In the end, you have to get 12 people, jury of your peers, in the Southern District of New York in all likelihood, you put them up in a complex financial case and try to... Those Don't underestimate juries. Don't underestimate those juries. We just got Tom historic. Hayes in the UK. I agree. But I, well, I always give the juries... The UK is a very different credit. system in the United States. And very... And as a yes. practical matter, if you look at the track record in complex financial Terrible. cases Terrible. of getting a conviction, Abject. it is really hard. Absolutely shocking. I am shocked they got... I was shocked as you when they prosecuted Tom Hayes and that they got a conviction. But don't undersell juries. In my experience, having covered, you know, in the UK for seven years doing complex criminal cases, more often than not, the jury got it right. And, and these are cases that run on for a year, for two years. And, and I think we have to understand that these cases are complex. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of time. But we have to send the signal of how important these prosecutions are to make people feel confident in the, in the stability of the financial system and the integrity of the financial system and, and to have people renew confidence in a sector that's been battered for so long. We also have to hold people accountable for their supervision or for uh, their non-supervision when there are these uh, very serious, very serious problems. I mean, individual accountability is a spectrum. It's criminal at one end, but you know, stupidity is not a crime. And you can't prosecute people for stupidity, but you can fire them for stupidity. You can shame them uh, for stupidity. You can make that clear. And I think looking back, it's a reasonable question whether there should have been more rapid and more embarrassing turnover on the boards of some of the institutions, whether there should have been uh, more uh, turnover and accountability. And it may well be that there are cases that should have been prosecuted, but that were not prosecuted. But I would caution that you do have the guilty beyond a reasonable doubt standard. Mm -hmm. And that and there's some people who have leapt to the conclusion that because a lot of really bad things happened, there must have been crimes. And there might have the crime might have been stupidity. So let me let me and ask you this. That's a that's a different thing.